this is a question about traveling from one city to another city. There are two cities. The distance between them is 42 kilometers. And there are two persons to travel from one city to the other city. So let's call the two persons A and B. And B B also travels from one city to the other. Distance is 42 kilometers. I just draw A and B separately. Okay. One drives faster than the other one. A is faster than B. How much faster? 0 0.4 kilometer per hour faster. So, I can let the speed of B be X. B goes X kilometer per hour. A is faster, 0 0.4 faster. So A's speed is 0.4. However, a is not lucky because somewhere between the two cities, his car broke down. So A has to stop and do some repair work. This takes him half an hour to repair it. So A wasted half hour. Let's say this is wasted. A wasted half hour. Suppose this is zero time, t equals zero, t equals zero, A starts, B starts. They both start at the zero hour. Then what is the time B arrives here, it's obviously 42 divided by x. The time for B to complete the, the journey is 42 over x hour.
the time for A to arrive at the second city is the total distance is 42. The speed is x plus 0.4. This is the time if there is no repair work. But A spends half hour to repair it. So the total time is this plus half hour. Because he wasted half hour, although A is faster, but the overall time it takes more time to arrive at the second city. The question says, A is 15 minutes later than B, which means A spends uh, 30 minutes more than B's time. So I have the relation from this statement. A's, A's time is 30 minutes more than B's time. So the difference This is the total time A spends. This is the total time B spends. But A spends more time because he wasted half hour. How much more time? 15 minutes. The difference is 50 minutes, so one quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. So A's time is 15 minutes more than B's time. So that's the relation. Now, what do you see? It's an equation, and the unknown in the equation is x. So you can find it, right? Find the x. So you can put x on the same side. Put x on the same side, put the numbers on the other side, and you can solve for x. On the, on the top, I can factor out 42. It's 42 multiply this fraction. 
what is in the numerator? This is in the numerator. What is on the right hand side? So that's what you have. Solve for x. x minus x, it cancels. minus 0 0.4 so 42 times negative 0 0.4 divided by this is equal to negative one quarter. So I have this. Negative, negative cancel. So next step, I can do cross multiplication. And then you have uh, Yeah. You can do cross multiplication, you get this. And then this is multiply this out. I did that, so multiply this out. Okay, it's uh, it's this. So you multiply the three numbers, you get this. Move this to the left hand side, you get a quadratic equation. And naturally, the next step is to solve the quadratic equation. Don't bother with factoring. Use quadratic formula. And I'm not going to write down the step, uh, write down the detailed step. Use quadratic formula to find the answer. Remember, in the quadratic formula, you have a square root and before the square root is plus minus. Inside is b squared minus 4ac. So you have two answers. Using the plus sign and using the negative sign. So the two answers are
A quadratic equation has two answers. And I, I did the quadratic formula, and I get these two answers. X is the speed. X is the speed. Speed cannot be negative, so I reject this. So my answer is x equals 8. 8 what? 8 kilometer per hour. So one speed is 8. The other speed is 8.4 kilometer per hour. So I solve this question now. This question is best illustrated by doing a sketch like that. From the sketch, you can write down the relation. This is an algebra question, algebra word problem question. I hope you follow the procedure, right? Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.